welcome to this new video so we are going to talk about principal component analysis for this i have the data for wine quality which has the ph value of the wine density of wine sulfur content chloride content and acid content so as you see there is there are like total nine variables so the goal of principal component analysis is to do dimensionality reduction so what i'm going to do is want to find a way to reduce the information from this nine variables to a smaller set of principal components and use them to perform various analytics so to get started we'll go over the analyze tab and select multivariate and then select principal components so i would select all the variables for my analysis and to put it here and then click okay so 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 the way i want to start here is i would look first look at the loading matrix which is here so so loading matrix essentially is for each principal component what is the proportion of each factor that we use in the data if you see loading matrix here the good way to visual interpretation is this graph so for my first principal component as you see fixed acidity citric acid ph value and density are the main contributors to create first principal component and if i want to look at the second when and to combine i see if i had two principal components then sulfur content adds more value to the second principal component and it have similarly if i increase to 3 then the third principal component is basically density and part of other variables take or take on this so the the point here is basically um to visualize which each how would each column play their importance in each principal component uh the way i also want to look at is uh, a scree plot which is traditionally look for principal component analysis so i see the more components are added the the variation explained goes to 100% but for dimensionality reduction i'll keep my components to three components which explains more than 60% of variation so to save my columns to save these three principal components i'll just go and save columns i'll say save principal components i'll say three and i click okay so if you look at here i'll have i had my principal components saved as a numeric column so this way i reduced my information from these nine columns to final finally three columns of principal component analysis with major variation explained thank you